Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm sure most of you know me, but if you don't, I'm from the marketing department. And I just wanted to share a tutorial on how to um, add an email signature to your Outlook application. So this will only work for Microsoft Outlook and it's the application installed on your computer, not going to your email through a web browser. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I clarified that from the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, and I'm gonna pull up my, my Outlook app. So this is typically what your Outlook application is going to look like. And I have a nice email signature installed here. Um, as you can see, um, we have a nice link to Google reviews. Um, so if you ever wanna leave the Alliance a review, I very much appreciate that. Um, and you can get there by clicking on this link. Um, and then we also have our photo and a logo, as well as, you know, contact information, website, social media links. Um, and then we also do have a disclaimer. Um, so that's up to you and what you want to put in your email signature. But those are the things that um, we have in ours. So I'm going to show you a simple version and a more complex version, um, just because it uh, with ours, I actually created an HTML file to be able to lay it out that way. So you won't have that option, but um, there are some options that you have that will make it look nice. So we're going to go up to file at the top left, and then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and choose options. And then that's going to bring up an Outlook options box. And I want to click on mail. OK, and then over on the right hand side, I need to click signatures. That's going to open up another dialog box. So as you can see, I actually already have three different um, signatures. Um, and don't worry about the logo. Sometimes I don't know, it looks squished, but, you know, you saw it before and it doesn't. Um, yours probably won't look that way because we're gonna be copying from a template if you wanna do the more complicated version. Uh, but let's start with the simple version. So if I want to, let's say yours is blank in this box here and I wanna create a, a signature, I'm gonna have to hit new, okay? And you won't see anything else in this box if you don't have one set up already. Then you wanna give it a name. So again, as you've seen, you can have several different um, email signatures. So I'm just going to name this test, but you label yours, whatever, whatever you want it to be. So, okay, so that's going to be my, my title for um, a simple email signature. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and click in this box below, and I'm just going to insert my information. So the first thing I would probably want is my name, my title, and the company that I work for. So, and you can put it in any order you want, whatever you think is the most important. Maybe you want the name of your company first and then and then your name. Um, that's up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name and then I'm gonna hit enter and I want to uh, put in my title. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit enter twice. I kind of want a, a space in between that and then I would probably put um, the company that I work for. Okay, and then I want my contact information. So I put my phone number. Um, and you can label if you want to label phone and then label fax or you want office and cell phone number. However you want to do that is fine. Um, again, you know, that's all up to you. And then um, you can put your email in there if you want to. I personally feel like it's not necessary since, you know, you've already sent them an email. They have your email. I feel like there's no need. But if you want, you know, to put your email in, you certainly can. Um, I can show you a fancy trick to do also if you want. And then I'm going to put in our website. So actually it, it it did that for me. It actually, so this is gonna be a link. So when you send out an email signature, somebody will click on it and it'll open up a, a message um, directed to you. So that was kind of what I meant by that. Um, and then we're also gonna make sure that we link the website to our actual website so that people have a quick link to um, the website. Okay, 
So yeah, if I just hit enter, see how it, it just automatically did that for you. Um, if that doesn't happen to do it for you, what you would need to do is basically select the whatever you want to link. So I want to link the website. And again, I know that it's already um, linked because it underlined it and it turned it blue. That means it's a hyperlink. But if it didn't do that for you, um, you're going to select it and then go up here. And this little icon with the globe and the little chain link, that means uh, that means hyperlink. So you want to click on that. And then um, you have a bunch of different options up here. So if you're going to link it to an email address, you could choose email and then you could put in your um, email address. You can even add a subject if you wanted to. Um, but, you know, that's kind of up to you. So I'm going to go back to um, existing file or web page. I want to link it to a web page um, here. This is just a link to your computer. If you want to link a file, I'm not really sure um, why you would do that. But I think the most important thing is to link it to a web address. So. Right here already, it has the full web address, HTTP, and I'm gonna actually add a, add a S behind that, so it links to the secure site. And then it's got the www.icaagencyalliance.com. So if that wasn't there, um, you, know, you would just type in whatever address you needed to, and then go ahead and hit okay. So again, because it's underlined and it changed color, I know that it um, has been linked up. So now, um, if you wanna stylize it, some things to keep in mind. Um, it's always important to stick with your brand. So if you have a logo and you have specific colors and fonts that you use in that logo, which I'm sure you do, um, it would be wise to go ahead and use that in your email signature as well. Um, again, it just it, it just keeps things consistent and that's what building a brand is all about. So um, you would just highlight your highlight the first, actually you could highlight all of it here if you wanna change it all to one specific test or text, sorry. Um, and if you don't have the exact text available here that was used in your logo, you want to find something that looks very similar, okay? So I'm just going to choose April text, and um, that'll change that to a, a serif font for me. So, and then I kind of want to stylize it a little bit. So I'm going to bold my name. You know, you could make the size of your name larger, if you know, whatever you want to make important. Um, maybe I want to bold the name of my agency as well, um, but I won't make that larger. Um, you know, you could you could do so many different things. It's really up to you. But again, you kind of want to stick with the the same information that's that's in your uh, logo. So maybe I want to make this red um, because red is part of my um, my brand. So I'm gonna again highlight it. And then right here is where the font color is right now. It just says automatic. It's black. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Um, you can pick from these colors uh, to find a similar color. But again, I would recommend um, getting that very exact color that you have in your logo. So to be able to do that, you can click on more colors. And if you go to custom, it's going to bring up this hex value here. And if you know the hex value of your colors, you can go ahead and add that in. So I don't have that copied at the very moment. So just for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to choose a, a darker red color. And it stayed black. So more colors. I'm just going to choose a red for now. But see how it changed to the hex changed to what red would be. Um, see if I pick a darker color, which is a little closer to our ours, um, and then hit OK. Now you see that it's changed. And then once you once you set a color, you find that hex number once, then it's going to remember what that is. So say you have several colors. Um, I mean, you don't want to make this look like the color of the rainbow. I'd say pick out one, maybe two colors from your brand in your signature, and then go ahead and do that. Um, so anyways, that's how you do just a very simple um, email signature. If I wanted to, I could go down here and insert my logo as well, or, or maybe even a headshot. So wherever your cursor is, that's where you're gonna insert the photo. So you, if you wanna put it here, or let's say you wanted to do a, you know your headshot, you could put it here. Again, that's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit enter, and then I'll put the logo down below at the bottom. So then I'm gonna go back up here, and right next to where you can add a hyperlink, there's this little picture image with a, with a monitor there. That is an insert picture icon. So I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to do is just bring up uh, my pictures folder. So I'm actually going to navigate to where I have our logo saved. And I'm going to choose um, our logo. 
So I'm gonna hit insert. And now you can see that it's really large. So all you need to do is, um, should be able to grab onto this here and resize it, but sometimes it doesn't like that. So what I can do is right click and then choose picture. And then I, up here right now it's on picture and I can go to size and then make sure we lock the aspect ratio because we don't want to squish our, our logo at all. We want to make sure that, you know, it, it stays in the right um, as ratio aspect. So I'm going to maybe put it down to 50% of its original size and then click OK and see how it made it a bit smaller. I know there's a, it's also another weird issue with this uh, viewer. It looks like it's doubled up, but it, it, it won't. Um, so anyways, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So anyways, I'm going to go down to maybe like 25% because we don't want this logo to be too large. It's just supposed to be nice and Okay, so now that it looks like it, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, I just started scrolling up and it kind of took that away. So now I'm just gonna, I think that looks good because it's not any wider than my text. So that looks nice. And then um, I'm just going to hit save. You need to make sure you hit save or you're gonna lose everything you did. So you've got to save it if you make any changes in this box. So I'm gonna hit save. Um, but then the next step you need to do um, is you need to come over to the right hand side where it says choose default signature. And you're going to want to make sure you you click on this drop down to assign um, a new message email signature. So again, I have several. You may only have one or none. Um, but right now I'm going to choose the one I just created. Signature, simple test. And then for for the replies, you can choose to have the same one or you can choose a reply. I, I just made another one, you know? Um, so again, you, that's up to you. I'll just kind of set them to both for now. And then you hit okay. So when you're in this box editing, you need to make sure you hit save. And if you just change this area here, you don't have to hit save. You just need to hit okay, all right? So then I'm gonna hit okay and okay again. And now if I do new email, there's my signature that I just created. So that is how you can create a simple um, logo and add in a photo and have hyperlinks that go, you know, directly to your, your information. So if you have trouble with that at all, you can absolutely feel free to reach out to me. I can walk you through that. Um, sometimes it is a little complicated, so no problem at all. And if you need me to help you with the logo size, um, if you send me your logo, I can resize it and make it a lot smaller for you and then send that back to you. And it just kind of makes that inserting the picture a lot easier. So if you've got a headshot that you want to insert into your um, email signature, just send it to me. Tell me that you want it for a signature and I can crop it and make it a lot smaller so that it'll fit into there a lot nicer and you don't have to mess with that uh, picture area. So uh, thanks for listening. And again, feel free to reach out to me if you need help. Sarah, S-A-R-A-H at ICAinsurance.com. Thanks.